Yes, family, we're at the National Museum here in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. This was built in 1940, and we're on the outside part of the museum. And one of the things you always see is, you know, museums are always great for students to come and learn about the history and the culture of the country. And this right here is a presentation, you know, a very painful presentation, but it talks about the... Um, Hope of Sorrow talks about tragedy as far as bombing. As yeah, I forgot all about this right here. This was. The US I remember all of us, uh, you know, being in America and hearing about uh, this bombing, but this is a presentation dedicated to. the victims and the survivors. of the U.S. Embassy bombing here in Tanzania. So as we mentioned, family, this is a very rich museum of history, culture, and information. And we definitely want to always just recommend that you come and check it out and learn more when you visit these countries that we travel to. Don't just come for a vacation and holiday. Come to also empower yourself, enrich your minds, and also show some love to the museums to keep them open. Now it was on nine, uh, I think it was nine in the morning, then to the same minutes, the same, I mean, different one minute. That's uh, the same day, the same month, the same year, but different in one minute. I got you. Yeah. Okay. The bomb here. Yeah. But in Tanzania, the bomb was within the car. Both Kenya and Tanzania. The effect in Tanzania was not much simply because there was the delaying of the bus or of the car that has a bomb and the car that's a moving, uh, uh, that's uh, supplying water within the US embassy. So, such a delay within the gate, the car, the bombs yeah. erupt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why the people who are killed, they are the U.S. cleaners, U.S. gravers, and U.S. gardeners. Those who are just found along the gate. But in Kenya, the effect was more higher simply because the car that has a bomb may need to penetrate inside <coughs> the U.S. embassy. That's why among of that eruption, uh, about 12 U.S. members, they were killed. And more than 200 people, Kenyans, they were killed. Yeah. Thank you. So, Mama, you just, let's just go. You see, we have already sold it. Uh oh. Let's go and see. What you say, Daddy? What you say? That's grandma. Grandma. She, 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 she. She said, "Don't call her grandma." She's my grandma. <laughs> she, no, she wants what people call a teenager. <laughs> so she call a teenager? Yeah, she yeah she's talking about she, yeah. Call a granny. So hey, yesterday I told somebody that I told somebody that she was my auntie. She got offended. I told somebody that she's my auntie. She got offended. She got upset with me. <laughs> you might be a great grandma. Yeah, this is crazy, oh man. This, we're just not used to uh, being around these kind of things in America. 
explain about the fig tree here. This is the tree which has 130 years. This tree was uh, planted by the one of the doctor, the Stuhlmann, Professor Stuhlmann, the agricultural professor from Germany. He planted this, but then this, the museum was part of the botanic garden. Mm. Is this oh. actually real fig? Yeah. Real fig? Yeah. What time of the year? It was, it was uh, planted here in the year 18 and 3. No, no, I said what time of the year does it bloom figs? Okay. I don't see no figs on there, no. Oh, it's uh, for instance on March and uh, April. Uh, so for instance right now, uh, it's just, the leaves are just getting down. Mm -hmm. You know the reason how the tree is making food? If it's just, the leaves are just getting down means that they need to make more food, mm. right? Uh, but we use uh, the medicinal, the leaves, the back of the tree, and the roots are being used to cure different diseases. Stomach ache, headache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just get close, my man, and have a good picture. Yeah. 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 You guys, do you know that in Tanzania we used to have the dinosaurs? We used to have about more than 193 million years ago. And in 19, uh, 1906, German, they took a number of uh, remains and sent them to Berlin Museum. Have you been to, muse to uh, Germany? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's why when you go to Europe, they Berlin got the best museum. museums. Yeah. All stolen yeah. artifacts. Yeah. And they, they're not giving them back because yeah. they, 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 they won't have a museum. You'll, hear, you'll see the skull of the, this, the uh, dinosaurs, yeah. both the Girophi and the uh, Gyronosaurus, the something like that, that's eating meat, but the other those are eating uh, uh, grass as a gyro. Yeah. But they were found in, the, uh, in one of the regions, the southern part of Tanzania, in Lindi region. Is where you lean the region. What year? Yeah? What year? Here, the time that German took? No, the, 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 the more than a hundred and eight, uh, and nine, some they were found in uh, has a period of 192, the other 145 years ago. Millions of years ago. Yeah. They were there before humans. You know, we, uh, we were started to live in the, from seven million years ago. Yeah, we humans. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, before you said that, I was paying attention to that. No, that building was closed. He said they still pixel on that building. You know, it's just there. We have nothing there. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. Yes, yeah. I transferred the knowledge. Oh, see? <laughs> that's yeah, I'm cool. always helping out. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> 